regardless of whether you're using HSRP or not, the client has to be configured with the correct default gateway. If it's not configured with the correct IP address as the default gateway, there's no way that it will be able to communicate with the default gateway, so that way there the default gateway can forward its traffic onto different subnets. So you might end up in a situation where clients are complaining that they're able to access resources in their local subnet, but they're not able to access resources outside of their subnet. In that particular case, you might be experiencing an issue with the client's default gateway configuration. That might not be the only reason why, but that is possibly a scenario that you might experience. So it's important to verify what the virtual IP address is of the HSRP group and make sure that the client has been configured with that particular IP address. Right now, PC1 is complaining that they can't access resources outside of their local network. However, they can access resources inside their network. So just a simple ping for 210.1.1.20, which happens to be PC2's IP address, is successful. But if we try to access, for example, resources in our 10.1.43.0 network, by typing in 10.1.43.4, we can see that that particular ping happens to fail. So we're not able to access resources outside of the local area network. However, before we go any further, let's verify the configuration on a PC1. And if we type in the command show, or not show, <laughs> IP config on PC1, and we go to the PC1 adapter, we'll see here that it has an IP address, it has a subnet mask, and its default gateway is configured as 1011.61. So, so far, so good. How are we receiving our addressing information, though, in this particular topology? We'll type in IP config switch all, and we'll see from this output that we are receiving it via DHCP. So we're DHCP enabled. We received our lease, that's when it expires. There is our default gateway information that we received, 101161. And the DHCP server is 10111. That is DSW1. That's who that is. So if we go over to DSW1 now and we analyze our default gateway IP address by typing in show standby. So standby brief, we'll use that one first. We'll see here that the virtual IP is 10.1.1.62. If we look at the output of show standby, which I typed earlier, you'll see that it's 10.1.1.62 as well, right there. So, you see the issue? Hopefully you do. That issue lies in the fact that PC1 has the wrong default gateway configured. It's 10.1.1.61. We already said that we're receiving our address via DHCP. And the server is 10111. So it appears that the DHCP pool is incorrect on that DHCP server. So let's go back to DSW1, type in show run, pipe to section DHCP. And when we analyze the output of our pool for VLAN 10, 10110 slash 26, you'll see the default router has been set incorrectly. So let's go ahead and solve this problem now. We'll type in configure terminal, and we'll get rid of that default router command, and we'll put in the right IP address for our client. So it's 62 that it's supposed to receive. Now we'll go back to the PC, and we'll type in IP config, switch renew, and if we scroll back up, we'll see here that the new Default gateway address is 101162. So let's go ahead and issue a ping now to 10.1.43.4. And that is successful. And let's do one to the internet just to make sure the client can reach the internet so they can go out and have some fun watching videos. <laughs> and they can. So it's important that the client is configured with the right default gateway address or our HSRP solution is not going to work.